when I was growing up, you know, I heard so much, well, black people don't swim. And, you know, I heard that from my father when he first took me to the beach. He said, don't go out past the whitewash. If something happens to you, I'm not coming to get you. And, you know, for me, that meant, okay, well, I got to learn how to swim. <laughs> I, I got to learn how to take care of myself out here because he's not coming to help me. My name is Lizelle Jackson. Pre-COVID, <laughs> I was a, an active travel guide. Post-COVID, now I'm a surf instructor. <laughs> paddle, paddle. Pop. That's better. So black girls surf, you know, their intention is to, to get more black women to be professional surfers. Um, and so right now, we're just working here in the, the LA chapter, you know, trying to get as many women of color in the, in the water as possible. And then eventually, hopefully, there'll be some, you know, women from that stage that would like to progress onto to the professional stage. I mean, you take something like uh, Bruce's Beach. In the early 1900s, there was a, a black beach resort there. And eventually, you know, they were kicked out. They were forced to move further inland. And so, you know, black people lost uh, one of the few beaches that they could go to. So, I mean, you, you, you look at something like that. If there's only one slice of beach that black people could, could you know, utilize at that point, then it's no wonder we don't have more black surfers. You know, a lot of times the surfing is something that's passed down from generation to generation. You know, you see surfer dads out there with their little daughters, you know, pushing them into the waves. Well, our dads didn't have that opportunity. So on a board like this, you're going to do something called the turtle roll. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> You've seen the turtle I've, roll. I've YouTubed it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've YouTubed things, and yeah, yeah, I've never done that. So this one, you can't duck dive. So duck dive you know, is the one, one of the reasons they... Down keep coming out here is because I wish there had been somebody, you know, when I was first learning that was there for me to look up to and someone that looked like me. And I think when you don't see, you know, yourself represented in whether it's those, you know, media images or whether it's just looking out in the water and, you know, it can be difficult. And so, you know, if we can create this space where women of color, you know, black women feel safe to, to come into and, you know, feel safe learning and that then they already feel like, okay, I can handle myself here. Um, and that's what we're really looking to do, right? Is just to, to empower women to feel that, you know, they belong in this, this ocean, no matter which beach they go to. <laughs> Everyone circle up! I want to thank everyone today for coming out. It's wonderful to see you all and all your beautiful faces. So if you don't have a flower, please stop by and grab a yellow rose. I will have Rhonda speak today from Senegal, and she's speaking at all the other paddle outs worldwide. Good morning. This is Rhonda Harper from Black Girl Surf. These paddle outs are peaceful protests for lives lost to police brutality and racism in America. Black lives matter. Today we're honoring the lives of those lost. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Vanessa Gillen, and hundreds of more lives. The belief is that it is our individual collective responsibility to participate rather than ignore, to prevent rather than react, to preserve rather than degrade because this is our time to do so. When you paddle out into the water today and you release those roses in honor of those who have fallen, think of something you wanna bring back with you into this new society we're creating, something that's healing, something that you wish to see more of in the world that you feel that is not there. It's beautiful, isn't it? My name is Sayuri and I am the Los Angeles SoCal Chapter Coordinator for Black Girls Surf. And this is happening worldwide today in several other counties as well as around the world. And the support was real, like we started out with eight people and then it went to like 20. We brought 60 roses, all the roses are gone. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming out. Did you guys get, the, get in the water? Did you go in the water? Uh -huh. 
Awesome. I know. Surfing? Are yeah. we interested in surfing? Yeah, I would yeah. love, like I've always wanted to learn to surf, but I've never knew anyone and never had like friends to go to take a class. All right, cool. Then so. You should come out to one of our board meetings because yeah. all we do is get together and then surf. That is awesome. And we're gonna have one so after. we have events like this. We have surf therapy days. We have board meetings. And we are also starting our surf camps up this summer. And that's where we get girls that are ages 11 to 17 in the water and on the board. And we start training them to surf professionally. I wish I could have got that one. That's okay though. I love seeing her in the water. You know, it's not just about African American versus any other race. It's just seeing your children have fun and doing things that they like to do is always a pleasure. As rare as it is to see somebody like Tiger Woods in golf, it's probably just as rare to see African Americans out on the water. And I don't think we live in a lot of the beach communities, especially in the U.S. Inhale that action. Big exhale. Zaire and I would just like to, you know, to start by officially welcoming you to the, the Black Girl Surf, the BGS Surf Therapy Program. And today we just kind of want to uh, address those. You know, what are those things that you're looking to, to leave on land and, and what is it that you want to find in the water? For me this morning, I definitely want to leave stress on land. And in the water, I'm just looking to find I think playfulness today. Just have fun and, and let everything go. Um, so I want to leave frustration on land. And then what I want to find in the water is always peace. Mm. I want to leave my anxieties on land. And I want to find, have some stoke moments. There we go. No. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> A lot of experiences that you have in the water parallel life itself. You know, I mean, just getting out into the water is this constant battle, right? But then you have these moments of calm and, and peace. Like I can see some of the choices that I make, you know, whether it's, am I gonna paddle into this wave or am I just gonna keep paddling for all the ways that kind of parallel, you know, the way I behave in, in the real world. But also, you know, I think water just in, in general is extremely therapeutic just you know it's incredibly calming you know i think it you know our bodies are what about 70 percent water so it's almost like you're going home right like going back into the womb and just feeling comfortable uh and at peace you know my hope is that we'll we'll just start to see a much more diverse lineup you know and so that my hope is that one day when we go out in the water you know, when I see another, you know, surfer of color, it's not like this kind of surprise, you know, and that I, I just want to get to the point where that's normal, where we go out into the water and we see, you know, all different shades, creeds, you know, colors, whatever it is, and that nobody bats an eye.